A new state of play has been officially confirmed by PlayStation for Thursday, September 14th at 5 p.m. Eastern. And if you guys remember on September 10th, I let you guys know that I'd heard that a state of play was coming this week. We're going to dive into all the details, but before we do that, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and share the video to help the community stay informed. Now let's talk about this state of play. It is coming on Thursday, September 14th at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's tomorrow. They announced it about uh, 25 hours in advance. Usually it's 24, but this time 25. Uh, and they are going to be talking about previously announced games, indie titles, PSVR 2 titles, and major upcoming titles from third-party studios. And so what I gather right away from this is that I wouldn't expect any new announcements here. It's probably going to just be previously announced titles, given that they've pretty much highlighted that in the PlayStation blog post. But it does interest me that they have an interest in showing major upcoming titles from third party. If you remember last year in September, we saw Rise of the Ronin, which is not out yet. Stellar Blade, which is not out yet. And those are two games that are pretty massive, right? A lot of people are excited for those two games. I would imagine we get a new trailer for Stellar Blade, maybe a solid release date for 2020. 24. Rise of the Ronin as well, you know, hopefully a solid release date, but at least another deep look at it, probably a lot further along than it was previously. We've heard a lot of uh, rumors about Rise of the Ronin and how far along it is, so I think that this could also be a game that shows up here. But I think the biggest title that a lot of people are talking about is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and the reason for that is with uh, PlayStation's Twitter, they put out a tweet, and we talked about this on my previous video, where they were really hinting towards there being a reason to wishlist Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And since then, they've actually deleted that tweet. So it really raises some eyebrows. And I really think this solidifies that there's going to be a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer there. In terms of what that can entail, it could be just a teaser for TGS. It could be a release date trailer. There are a number of different things that they could do with this, being that I believe that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth would be the headliner here, given that it's the biggest title, uh, that I could imagine that they could show us uh, based on the PlayStation blog post. TGS is also this month, so that's another big reason for them to celebrate uh, Japanese games, Asian games, uh, to really you know highlight these developers in these third-party uh, deals that they are doing. So Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, definitely the big highlighter here. I think that that's going to be there. I think Rise of the Ronin will be there. I think Stellar Blade, I imagine that we'll get some other titles as well. As far as indies go, I would love for them to show us Little Devil Inside. A lot of people have been asking for that, and we have yet to get that. So those are my thoughts on what could be happening here at the State of Play. Uh, we'll definitely follow up when we do live stream it and, and see what I got correct here, but uh, definitely a lot of educated guesses here in terms of what could be there. Now, obviously, I do want to talk about the fact that I did drop a video on September 10th, letting you guys know that I had heard from a credible source of my own that there is a state of play coming this week, and I don't think anybody else was saying that. Uh, we had some sources hinting at a state of play happening, and there was one coming this month, but nobody was being as specific as I was. And in that, I also got some colorful comments of people in disbelief, uh, people doubting me, people thinking that I was lying. And to be clear, if I ever come out and, and talk about a personal source of mine that is telling me about an event or telling me about a game, I promise you that I'm not going to say it unless I truly wholeheartedly believe in it 100%. And that is why I was so so confident about the state of play coming this week. I, I would not have said that if I had even 1% of doubt. I truly, truly believed 100% that it was the case. So that's why I did talk about it. What do you think will be shown at the state of play and what are you hoping for? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you have not subscribed already and you want to stay up to date on the latest PlayStation and just gaming news in general and great reviews that I have coming, please subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike the video if you did not enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.